mean, this is like, this is the, like I said before, this is the OG site for, for Cali Reggae. Like this is where, this is, you know, this is where it started when stick figure was no one, when tribal seed is no one, like, you know, like it's just stupid and they spend holes and like, oh, it was awesome. It's like the but, father of reggae and, festival. Yeah. Like to watch it grow or all these years to where you got these thousands of people that want to go and, you know, and it's it branched out to the whole nation. And it's just like for us, right in our backyard to be able to come here and play. Cool. You tell me what's better than that. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky to you know, live there. I think it's a bubble within a bubble of just paradise. As far as social life, community, the beach, great surf. You know, all these guys surf, we all surf. Say that we're from there, it's, uh, it's a privilege, you yeah. know? So I'm proud of it. I think we all are, you know? Lungs are about, better are about, you know, the ocean, you know? You know you, yeah, you know, a lot of those songs were written looking at the horizon or looking at the, the water and, you know, trying to put that in a, you know, paint that in a lyrical, musical picture for people to, you know, connect with and all the songs. Um, Sean writes the good ones. I write the uh, fillers and we go from there. <laughs> so the core idea of the song and as far as Mevin uh, sends it to me, yeah, Dropbox, and then he tells me, hey, throw a solo in there and that's what I'll, you know, about comfort my own home I'll, I'll i'll throw something there and then send it back to them and he continues producing it mold the song you know maybe we jam out this or something uh you know someone will have an idea and if we'll try it and if it sounds good i then we keep it you know so yeah we all have a part in uh you know i'll, I'll take that one favorite venue probably mo's i've been going there for the longest so that's like what's your family uh, Sewer Peak Pleasure Point, uh, and favorite venue? Shoot, I don't know. That's kind of a tough one. Uh, outdoor or indoor? I really like the the little stage down in Capitola Village. Shoot, like Expandables <laughs> played there and stuff, and like it's you, that's fun. You know, I really like that one when it goes off. Crowsness. Crowsness. Which is always a a great time of year over there. It's every Thursday, and it's right on the sand. It doesn't get better, better than that. And it's free, you know, for people to just come and, and see the community hang out. Yeah, Surf the Point, uh, Manresa, uh, all over. And then, yeah, venue-wise, that's tough because there's so many good ones. But yeah, Moe's, Catalyst, um, no, yeah, Red Wing Mouth there. Yeah, Capitol is awesome. We played there for the Art and Wine uh, Fest, which was fun. I mean, looking at the ocean, so it's, you know, it's awesome. Yeah. For me, I gotta say my favorite spot is Pleasure Point in Santa Cruz. I surf there all the time. I ride my bike there all the time. I go on walks with my, my girlfriend there all the time. And for venue, I, I, I have to say Mo's Alley. I worked there for 16 years and just the crew that manages it and runs it is, is good people. They're good people. It's just great and it needed it, you know? The new owners, Lisa and then Brian, Shout out to you guys, man. You you guys are doing great. We're proud of you. Oh, definitely Sunny Cove. I got to you. Uh, we used to jam out live music on the beach back in the day for COVID. And favorite venue would be the big stage at the Callus. For me, um, I want to say Pleasure Point. Every time I go to Santa Cruz, it's like just, you know, it feels feels great to be there. And as far as venue, um, I think Moe's Alley is, is, is up there for me. Uh, oh, is everybody is close? Yeah, it, it feels very intimate there. You know, um, every time we show up there, you know, they welcome us like family. And it's, uh, good. And it's just, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome place to, to you know, uh, an awesome venue to, to play at. So uh, see Maoli and Colin McKinney for that. Well, okay. Sure. I mean, for starters, great, amazing singers in both bands. So uh, any singer to look to deals with those guys, Ian and Gina, just like, then if you have not seen Common Kings live, they will blow you away. They're just so good. So anytime they're on the bill and, and we're playing or we're there, but you can't not be influenced by, you know, the heavy hitters. When something hits you, it's like that it becomes sort of like, comes part of your style and that will show itself when in a performance. They uh, Cypress Hill later. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, the way they, they rap and, and, and deliver their lyrics, have influenced me in some of the raps I do in Spanish and soul wise. So like seeing them today, it's, it's gonna be special for me personally. Every artist is amazing that Kyra's book. So I'm gonna try to make it to everyone and hopefully uh, not poop out.
I'd probably say Stick Figure. Stick Figure. I like their chill vibe and his cool um, vocals and great. Right? Yeah. yeah. Just great. Right. Great vibe, man. I love listening to them all the time. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm excited for Maholi too. Uh, and then also uh, LAB. Um, so I've never seen them live yet personally. So at least for, for today. All of them? Uh, yeah. Every, yeah. It's impossible. LAB. Look, I'm looking forward to seeing LAB. My wife's super excited to see him too. Uh, but uh, yeah, just so many influences from all these artists and, you know, uh, Reb last night, you know, coming up through high school and like, you know, they were, they were just tearing it up and you know, a lot of influence there. Uh, you know, Dick and um, everybody, but uh, yeah, everybody. Reb's a big uh, influence on me. Uh, you know, uh, Cypress Hill. Oh. They're awesome. Yeah, like they're a tank shirt. Oh, I have a Wu Tang shirt on. Yeah, Wu Tang's oh, yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah, they're playing. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're, the, they're the big headliners tonight, so uh, I'm excited to, to see them. Yeah. All right, we're out. Yeah.